So almost every single week without fail, I get one to two messages from people asking about comic book investing. Without fail, these messages come through and they take a variety of forms, but it really comes down to, I want to invest in comics. Where do I invest? How do I do it? What types of books should I buy? What are the best books out there for investment, right? People ask a wide range of questions, but it really comes down to the fact that people want to invest in comics. And I personally think that that's a good thing. I think that the hobby needs all types of people, whether they be readers, collectors, speculators, investors, cover hunters, it doesn't matter if people are coming to the hobby. I personally think that that is a good thing, especially if they're not bad actors. Now, if they're bad actors, all bets are off. Now, with that said, what I wanted to do was to put together a video that would actually help some of these people because I find myself answering some of the same questions the same way every single time. And so I thought that I would create a video, basically comic book investing 101. And I'm going to assume that people that are watching this have some foundation. So we're going to add to it. And depending upon the questions and comments that are left on this video, maybe we'll do a follow up video or two to provide some additional guidance. Now, with that said, let's get to the tips. Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. As I mentioned in the intro, we are going to talk about comic book investing, and I am not going to go deep, but I am going to try to cover some ground and essentially encapsulate the advice that I provide to people on a one on one basis. By creating this video, it allows me to hopefully answer a lot of questions for people by putting it out there for them to think about. Now, with that said, the very first piece of advice that I always give people is to gather your resources. There are some resources that I use every single day as part of the hobby that I think are essential. The very first one is Key Collector app. This is an app that I literally use multiple times a day every day. And as the name implies, it allows you to identify the significance of comics that you are looking at. It allows you to understand why a comic is a key if it is indeed a key in terms of first appearances, first cover, the death of a character, the first time two characters are meeting, whatever it happens to be. But by using Key Collector app, it allows you to understand the book that you might be looking at. This is an app that you can download from the App Store. I do believe both on Apple and also on Android. There is a free version, there's a paid version. You can decide which option may work best for you. The second resource that you absolutely need is a pricing service and there are a lot of them out there. My assumption here is that if you are going to be investing in comics, more than likely you're going to be buying graded comics. And there are videos here on the channel that kind of explain why graded comics might be a better a vehicle for investment, but let's just assume that you are going to be buying graded comics. The pricing services that are out there for graded comics include cover price, comicspriceguide.com, go collect and GPA. Each one of these platforms has its pluses and minuses. Some of them have a free service that you can use. The others, and most of them, I think, are ones that you have to pay for. They have their pros and cons. You definitely want to take some time to think about what, what the pros and cons are and which one you might want to go with. I personally use Go Collect, and there are a lot of reasons for that. I like having the visibility of the data. I like being able to look at individual transactions. I like to be able to look at graphs and charts. I like to be able to look at the various labels that are out there for slabs, whether they be blue labels or yellow labels, signature series, green labels, whatever it happens to be across both CGC and CBCS. To my knowledge, Go Collect is the only one that allows you to do that. Now, the others are good. There's no, no knock against them. But for me, Go Collect is what I happen to use. You'll have to figure out which one of the pricing services you want to go with. You need a pricing service to understand how much you should actually pay for a comic. 
This is important. If you're going to be investing in comics, you need data. You need to understand the significance of the comic. You also need to understand how much other people are paying for the book so that you can figure out how much you should pay and whether the book you're considering buying is actually a good deal or not. This is critical. And I will tell you just today, I had this conversation with someone about pricing guides because they don't have one. They're like, what is the right price to pay? I don't even know what book you're looking at. Second, you need to get access to a pricing guide so that you can figure that out for yourself. The next thing that you want to think about is what type of books do you want to invest in? Now, this is something that can be a little fluid. But what I mean by that is that there is a wide range of comics out there, different genres, different ages, and you might want to give some thought to where you want to invest. Is it the golden age, silver, bronze, copper, modern? What type of books do you want to invest in? And I can tell you generally, each one of those, those errors of comics has some price tags associated with it. Generally speaking, the older you go, the bigger the price tag. But by going with some of the older books from the Golden Age or the Silver Age, you have more predictable patterns in terms of how that comic is going to perform versus a modern comic that was just released last week or a year ago. There's more volatility with that modern comic versus that Golden or Silver Age comic, but you'll have to decide what makes the most sense for you. The next thing is the three R's. Research, read, and respect. You want to take some time to do your own research. Key Collector is great, no doubt about it, but you want to understand if you are going to buy a Silver Age comic and you're going to spend real money on it, you want to understand that comic. You want to understand what outside influences can impact the values of that book so that you know is this a good price or a bad price? Is this the right time to buy or the wrong time to buy? So you want to take some time to do some research. And there are a ton of websites out there that can help you. A ton of amazing content creators here on YouTube that are putting out some great content that will help you to improve your knowledge. But do your research. The second thing, take the time to read comics. Comics are amazing. And by taking the time to read them, you will also appreciate them and better understand the investment that you are actually making. And there are a lot of ways to read comics physically or digitally. Either way, take the time to read them. The third R is respect. You want to respect the hobby, respect the creators that create these wonderful comics that we get to read that we get to see on the printed page respect your fellow comic book collectors and readers respect other members of the community i personally think that that is fundamental and might actually go a long way to reducing some of the tension between the purist in the hobby and those that might be investors and speculators respect goes a long way because you are going to be making an investment at some point, you're going to have to complete a transaction. So you want to give some thought to where you're going to buy from. Are you going to buy from a local comic shop? Are you going to go to a comic book convention and wheel and deal there? Will you buy online on like eBay or hipcomic.com? Maybe you'll buy through an app like the short box app that you can download to your phone. The point here is that there are a ton of ways that you can actually buy comics, including from individuals that might live in your community. But you want to be smart about where and how you are buying, especially if you are buying big ticket comics for the purpose of investment. So be thoughtful. Think about what you're doing before you actually pull the trigger. But at some point, you are going to pull the trigger and you are going to own a really awesome investment worthy comic. To that point, you may want to protect that comic. And so you may want to think about at some point getting collectible insurance. The reality is that the insurance that you have on your house or your renter's insurance, insurance, whatever it may be, may not be sufficient to actually cover collectibles. And so you want to think about collectible insurance. I personally use Collect Insure and have for years, but this is something that you're going to have to think about. Now, with that said, we have covered a ton of ground in this video. 
My hope is that there is something that I've said here that is helpful to you. If you have additional questions, additional thoughts, let me know down in the comment section because as I mentioned, maybe there will be a follow-up video where we cover some additional ground. Maybe we go deeper into some of the topics that I've only touched on in this video but I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I want to encourage you to give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I want to encourage you to do that. And if you want to reach out to me for whatever reason, you can do that on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. This thing on, my check. I just want to make sure y'all can hear me clearly. Yeah, should you practice art? Or shall art be your practice? I had a question, so I asked it. Not to anyone specifically, but to my inner God, you know? The one that's gonna be a master. The one that's more than a rapper. The one that's an educator. The one that seeks enlightenment. He travels with concepts. He's got the mindset expansive. He overstands that his time combined with travel and concepts makes his mind convex. Sort of like when you look at a brain scan. Straight off meditation, we was concaving until we had that eternal dialogue that created our dialect. Now we in distinct rooms of pure souls, having them conversations, synergy and combinations. You blind, we waiting, Indian style in the gold.